So in this video, we're going to be looking at the midpoint formula. And it sort of links on quite nicely from what we've been doing with linear equations and linear algebra in terms of looking at the distance formula in the last episode. So let's go to the board here and have a look at what this midpoint formula is all about. So we have a Cartesian plane with points A and B. They're just two Cartesian points on the Cartesian plane. And what we're looking at is finding point P, which exists exactly halfway between point B and A. So what we're looking at is getting this distance AP the same as the distance PB. And of course, you know, once you've got that midpoint there, you can always check it using the distance formula, because you know how to calculate the distance between two points. So if you've done the midpoint formula correctly, you can check using distance by actually working out the distance between AP and BP, and they should be the same. So this is a nice little formula, and essentially it's like taking an average of the points. So you've probably done averages before, you just add things together and you divide by the number of things you have. It's essentially the same sort of logic because you're just looking for the middle. And uh, that's where we're going to look at an example now, so we can actually grasp this concept of the midpoint. Remember, it just lies exactly halfway between two points, and these two points might be on a line, for example. So find the midpoint between 2, 3, which is obviously a point, and 3, 6. Okay, so the first thing we do, and this is what we've been doing for most of the videos now, we've been identifying x1 and x2 and y1 and y2 with our two points. And uh, of course, it's very important to do this because a lot of our formulae actually revolve around this. And it, again, it doesn't matter whether you have this one as being the twos and that one being the ones or vice versa. It's just a matter of actually making sure that x1 is with its buddy y1 and the x2 is with y2 so they're both in the same bracket. And that way you'll get the correct answer. Of course, my little rule, I've said it before in the slope episode, if you watch that one, I always like to look for the bigger numbers and put them as y2. For the midpoint formula, as you'll probably see in a minute, it doesn't really matter too much, but it's just something that I generally hold quite close in terms of uh, mathematics and making it simpler for me, because of course you don't want to make it any harder than it has to be. So I've also written out which one's which in this little line here with all the numbers. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to look at this new formula. And there is no really good notation for the midpoint. I generally like to call it point P, for example. However, check with your maths teacher what form of notation they like, because it does vary quite a lot. And there are quite a lot of forms that are correct that you could use in terms of notation. But we look at the midpoint P as equaling. And of course, it's just an average. So we're looking at x1 plus x2 on 2, and that's going to be our new x-coordinate for p, and then we look at y1 plus y2, and of course these just come from our points, divide by 2, and of course it's going to be the new y-coordinate, so we have x and y, and that's why there's a comma between them, because we're finding a new point. Okay, so we're going to substitute in these values now, we're going to take the 2 of the x1 and we're going to put it in, and we're going to put the 3 from the x2 in, and we're going to get 3 plus 2 in the numerator of the x-coordinate of the new point. And then, that, of course, that's all over 2, 2 in the denominator. And then we have 3 plus 6 in the numerator for the y-coordinate of the new point. And then that's all over 2. So what we do is we simplify this. We know that 2 plus 3 is 5, and we know that 3 plus 6 is 9. So we've got a new point, which equals 5 on 2 and 9 on 2. So there's our x-coordinate, there's our y-coordinate. And of course, as I said before, you can always check using the distance formula. But there's a midpoint, it's essentially the average of two points, and it can be found quite easily just using some basic linear algebra concepts. Thank you for watching. Join us next time. However, if you need more practice or more support, check out our apps on the App Store. They have great worked examples, they have incredible worksheets and other materials that can help you really ace exams. We have Formulae for iPhone and Formulae for iPad. Also check us out on Twitter and Facebook to keep up to date with all the educational material that's coming out. Thank you.